Today's video is going to be a pretty short one. I just wanted to share my thoughts on the latest AI model being created by OpenAI, the same company that's given us ChatGPT. And this new AI model is called Sora, a model that can create video from text and it's not yet publicly uh, available. In fact, from the website, it says that uh, today's Sora is becoming available to red teamers to assess critical areas for harms or risks. And they're also granting access to a number of visual artists to gain feedback on how to advance the model to be most helpful for creative professionals. So it's not yet publicly available. However, uh, from, a, the, from the perspective of a content creator such as myself, I make content on YouTube and online courses. This is obviously great for me. I can make videos, I can make documentaries, I can even make short films by making use of AI and I don't have to hire real uh, actors or actresses and I can do so from the convenience of my own living room. However, from a cybersecurity perspective, this is actually very, very scary. Now, before I delve into my concerns from the cybersecurity perspective, let's take a look at a few of the videos that they've actually shared for us to see. Now, this one right here is really am amazing. This is the uh, video of a Japanese wo woman walking down the streets of Tokyo. And the one thing that gives it away are the people in the background. The way they're walking is way too smooth. So you can tell that this is AI generated. However, if this video was just her walking down the streets of Tokyo all by herself, I might not have been able to tell that this is actually AI generated. And it's really fascinating to think that only about a year ago, we had this video made of Will Smith uh, eating pasta. I don't know if, you've ever, if you ever saw this video, but obviously everyone could tell that this is AI generated, this, this isn't real. But imagine that just in one year, we've gone from this to this. Like how fascinating and how scary is that at the same time? Now imagine the kinds of videos and how realistic they will be a year from now. Imagine what they'll look like in 2025, in 2026 and onwards. These videos are only gonna get even more and more realistic. There's another video in here which I honestly could not tell was AI generated because this was supposed to be uh, historical footage from California during the gold rush. And unless I was looking for very specific kinds of things, I would not be able to tell that this is AI generated. It looks so real. Now, my cybersecurity concerns come in that, remember only a couple of weeks ago, I covered this story. We had a company losing $25 million to scammers after they tricked one of the employees in the financial department into wiring the $25 million. Now, the employee had attended what was supposed to be a real-life Zoom meeting with the chief financial officer and other employees that he recognized. The problem was, was that those people he was seen in the meeting, they were all deep fakes. They weren't actually real people. They were all deep fakes of the people that were impersonating. That is very, 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 very scary. Imagine you being the employee in that meeting. You're thinking, I'm talking to the chief financial officer. I can see other employees that I recognize, but they're not real. Those are deep fakes. So we've already seen this in action. Now imagine what the cyber criminals and hackers will be able to do once Sora and other AI models are made publicly available and they're able to create fantastic videos of maybe the chief executive officer of the company saying something or Hackers have always been very, very creative, and I'm pretty sure you're going to see different kinds of cyber attacks and scams being used by AI to fool employees and fool uh, their victims, basically, right? Now, if you're thinking, well, companies will obviously deploy some sort of protocols to ensure that they don't fall victim to these kinds of scams using uh, AI videos, remember back some 10 years ago, back in 2013, actually, right? A hacker was able to hack the Twitter account of AP, the Associated Press, and they released a fake tweet saying that Obama had been hurt in White House explosions. Now, this fake tweet alone was enough to cause the stock market to crash temporarily. All right, this was a fake tweet. Before the news got out that, oh, the tweet is fake, don't listen to it, the damage had been done already. There is a saying that, a lie would have gone across the world before the truth even begins its journey or something like that, right? So the real harm here is that 
Imagine hackers being able to create an ultra realistic video of the US president or you know Vladimir Putin or some you know state leader doing something and the world reacts in a very very negative manner even though the video was fake before it's actually revealed that hey this was AI generated this isn't real the damage might have been done already like think about it okay this was caused by a single tweet just a tweet and we as human beings we react a lot stronger to things that we can visualize. So when you say something, you're going to react stronger to it than what you hear. This was a tweet or this was something that people read. Now imagine if they actually see like an ultra realistic video of that thing happening. They will think, oh, this is actually real because the AI generated video is so realistic. They will never even think that, oh, this might be fake. So... You know, I could go on and on about the different types of concerns from a cybersecurity perspective, but look, AI is here, it is the present, and it's also going to be the future. AI is here to stay, and like I said earlier, as a content creator, this is fascinating and obviously wonderful for me, but from a cybersecurity perspective, uh, this is going to be a nightmare. Like... I can't even begin to imagine the different types of cyber attacks and scams that are going to be created and developed by making use of Sora. And the thing is, what makes this even scarier is that what we're seeing right here is what's publicly what's publicly been released, right? There are so many other AI models behind the scenes being created. There are so many other kinds of technology being created, which we don't even know about. We're truly entering a very fascinating, a very interesting, and yet also a very scary time. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments about Sora and AI. If you have them, please do share them with me in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Share the video with anyone you may feel might benefit. And if you're new here to the channel, welcome. My name is Alex. I make videos around cybersecurity and cybersecurity crime and so on. So if you're interested in topics like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so they're notified whenever I upload a new video. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.